Hi, it's Pastor Smith again, and I brought you your earlier uh, little interview we did with uh, Levi Bringle, our new principal. And today we got Mrs. Erin Wagner back with us, and we get to talk with her for a little bit. Erin um, was with us, and then she left us. She liked kids or something and wanted them in her own home. So, and now she's back with us. So I wanted to start off. Erin, uh, tell us something about your family. Well, my family includes my husband, Dave. We've been married for eight years, and I have two daughters. Molly will be um, here at St. John in kindergarten, and Sarah will be in preschool three. It's hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> yes. It is really hard to believe, and they're a wonderful family. Um, they live near me, so we get bicycle visits every once in a while. Yes. And the girls collect flowers from my wife in the yard. So, Erin, uh, what brought you into being a teacher in the first place? Well, I, I grew up going to Lutheran schools. I went to a Lutheran elementary school. I went to a public high school, but then I was led to Concordia. And I just, I love Lutheran schools. I love the friends and the teachers that I was surrounded with. And um, they had a great influence on me. And um, so I decided that, you know, after doing some Sunday school and some BBS, that it would be, you know, maybe the right thing for me to choose that path and attend uh, Concordia and Arbor and be surrounded by Lutheran people again. Well, that's a good, those are good answers. It's always interesting to hear what people's stories are, how they ended up teachers or pastors or something. Um, they're not the same. They're almost yeah. never the same. That's the amazing thing. Now, you left us at one point. You came as Miss St. Bernard. Yes. <laughs> and then you... We resigned, left to have kids, and you were Mrs. Wagner, obviously, at that point. What's brought you back? Why now? Well, there has been openings at St. John the last few years, and you know, I keep getting the question: Are you ready <laughs> to come back? Is this the year? Uh, just out of you know courtesy, it's always really nice to be thought of. But um, this year, both my kids are in school, so. It was just a time where I could kind of shift my focus a little bit, where if they're going to be in school, I can also be at school and, you know, use my talents to teach other kids. Uh, I'm glad you're back to tell you the truth. This is, um, I, I enjoyed your first time from going around with us, and I'm, I'm excited about the second time here. Um, so I, I'm really enthused. It, it's a great, great thing that's happening here. Uh, I, I guess I'm going to ask you just simply at this point, do you have any last things you want to share with the people looking at the parents, uh, the members of the church, whoever else is spying on our little conversation here? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm really excited about the year. I know there's all kinds of unexpected things that we just we don't know what's coming but I know that um, God is holding us all in his hands and we just need to um, keep our focus on him he's got a plan even though we might not understand it and I'm gonna keep praying and I hope everybody else does as well it, yeah it is an exciting year to be back isn't it yeah um, you know we don't know what's happening we don't know what's going on completely uh, you know our plans are here and then we get to remake them, don't we? You know, that's the way the Lord is working, but it's a wonderful thing. Uh, I'm glad you're back with us, Aaron. It's uh, wonderful to have you here. Uh, and if you don't know Aaron well or you don't know her family, uh, take the time to get to know them. Uh, I, I personally have been very blessed by the whole family, and I'm sure you will be too. Aaron, thanks for giving us some of your time, and now you can get back to making your classroom a wonderland for the students. Thank you. Thank you for talking with us.